how to design a one product Shopify store. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be taking a quick look at how you can design a one product Shopify store like this. So you guys can see this is just a example store. It's called the uh, Bliam and their product is basically focused on just selling this one hair removing item. They have this scrub item and they have started selling other products now, but primarily that's what their website was started at. Now, if you want to create a one product Shopify store, it's not as easy as a lot of people think it might be because when you're structuring a one product Shopify store, especially if you're trying to do it on the Dawn theme, then it's going to be pretty difficult to make it work. So what I recommend if you are looking to get started is to start with the refresh team. So the refresh team is quite different than the Dawn theme and I do think it's a better option to design a one product store. So let's get started with designing our own one product store. First off, you want to log on to Shopify, go into product. We are going to delete any other product that we have. So I'm just going to take this product over here and I'm going to delete it like so. So I have this crocodile skin purse and this is what I just want my entire Shopify store to be focused on. Now you do want multiple different uh, product images. You want as many as you can get because you have to basically reiterate the information about that specific product. So you want to make sure that you are able to uh, match your content with multiple different types of images. Now to get started, simply click on online store. Once you click on online store, you want to scroll down and you want to go into the refresh theme and you want to add it. Now this is available for free. You don't have to pay for this. I have already added it and uh, I will click on customize over here. And you guys can see I've made some changes to this, but I'll show you guys exactly how you can get started as well. But if you are uncertain, let's just go ahead and edit the default. So we're going to move it back to basics. So I would click on remove, remove, and I'll add the refresh theme once more. It can take a couple of seconds for the theme to be installed onto your Shopify platform. So I'm just going to wait for this to be completed and we're going to start customizing the refresh theme one by one or step by step. So that's what we're going to do. You don't have to publish it right away. You guys can see currently Dawn is the theme that is live on my website. However, the refresh theme is also a in, present in my themes library and you can edit any theme in your themes library. So I will click on customize over here. Now for a one product store, you don't need a lot of navigation panels. So you guys can see you have a bunch of different pages and you have this collection section. You don't really need any of those pages, so you can just leave them as it is and focus on designing your homepage because your homepage basically serves as your basic section. And then in your catalog section, you want to rename this section, rename this page. So you don't do this from here. You're going to go back and exit the editor and we're going to go back into our Shopify store and rename the page. So you just want to rename this into shop. So that is what you want to do. Now we're going to start designing our homepage to edit the logo and the header. First off, I like to click on my theme settings on the top left and you guys will see your logo, colors, typography, all that good stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on logo and you can upload your own logo and you even have your store library and you can even explore you know, all the uploads you have previously made. You have some saved views as well. You can also click on explore free images. So you can click on this and you have a bunch of different free images as well. And you can choose from those. Obviously, I wouldn't recommend it, but we're going to just uh, create a logo. So I'm just going to take a basic logo and I'm just going to name my brand Lorna Alvardo. I think it's a pretty cute name. Coincidentally, it fits with like the first aesthetic we're going for. We're going to head on over back to our Shopify store and publish it over here like so. So one thing that is very important is that you want to upload a favicon. Now, what favicons allow you to do is that it will allow you to basically create your image or uh, create your image without a background. So without the background, it just looks really nice in your header or you can match your header color to the back of your to the um, background of your icon. Now, after I have entered my header, I can go back into go into my themes, 
scroll down i have colors typography layouts and more so i've uploaded my logo now i'm going to go into my colors and you have your accent color so you can click on your header and scroll down and choose the color scheme you wanted so if it's going to be accent one accent two and verse so what i'm going to do is i'm going to choose it to be accent two then i'm going to exit go back into theme settings and go into my accent two now what I'm going to do is I am just going to replicate the color that is present within my little background that I created. It's like a warm kind of pink color, you could say, pink orange color. So this is totally up to you. I don't necessarily recommend that you actually do this. It's totally like a personal choice kind of thing. Uh, a lot, it's a lot easier to just upload a favicon, but if you want to do contrasting backgrounds as well, you can also choose to do that. Uh, you can really choose uh, whatever color scheme you want in your entire website over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a kind of nude beige color scheme to fit like the rest of my product and whatnot. So I'm going to go with darker hues over here like so. So I have all of my color schemes set and the accent one is also going to be like so. So once I have my color scheme, I can click on my theme settings and move to my typography. So you can click on change over here to change your font, to change the overall appearance that you have. And you want to remove this kind of header section because it doesn't serve you any product, any purpose. And then you also want to hide, you know, you want to change the name of your featured product section into buy now. And after that, you can also choose to center this section as well. And if we go back, we're going to go into our, uh, this section over here. We want to create a new section because we want to display some information. We're going to click on over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to add image width text. So what you're going to do is from here, you can upload images of your specific product. So I'm going to take this image like this, and then I would add some basic text with it. So after that, I've entered my text. Now below that, you have your button label. Now in your button label, you want to change it to buy now. And then you want to paste the link. So for the paste the link, you want to click on product and click on your item. And then you want to just use that link. Now below that, you don't want to directly end your website. It's going to be very short if you do that. You might want to add a review section. If you don't have any reviews yet, you can import them if you are dropshipping products. But if you're not, you can add a section about the features. So it could be just image with text once more. You can add that and you can make these into bullet points. You don't have to necessarily make these uh, text blocks as they are. You can just go on here into image with text and you will see image with text. And what you're going to do is you are going to click on add block and then you can choose whatever you want. You can choose to create your own little custom section as well. But what I'm going to do is below our header and this section, we want to click on add section. And we are making it a multi-column section. So you can create a multi-column section and in here you can describe the features as well. And once you have completed all of this, all you have to do is click on save and publish to get started with your one product Shopify store. So once you have saved it, you want to exit and you want to go into your pages. And in your pages, you will see your contact page and your catalog page. So you want to change the catalog page, the name of the catalog page into the shop page or the buy now page. So that is all you have to do. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video.